Hi everyone. Hello. Hi, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, well, you find us in a very different position to where we were last time we spoke to you. We're still on the boat. You've still got the same view behind us. We've still got Tilly here. But uh, we are out of the water. We're working on at least five projects at the moment and we've videotaped all of them. Yeah, so several of which were kind of unexpected. Um, and <laughs> some, some of them, uh, for example, our engine is out at the moment, so we couldn't go back in the water if we wanted to. Well, we could, but we just float aimlessly <laughs> along the canal. We've got the dock if we need it for eight weeks total, but we don't think we'll need it. But it just depends on how quickly we can get everything done. And some of it requires some professional expertise <clears throat> and that we don't have. So yeah. um, it's a matter of getting the right people in that can do some of the things that we're not able to do. We're just hoping that we get it all done um, quickly so that we can get back in the in the water and uh, start our journeys. Tilly is almost blind. Uh, it's not obvious. Um, when you think she's staring intently and lovingly at us, <laughs> she usually just is trying to make out whose face that is. <clears throat> but um, she has quite a nasty um, gash, whoops, yeah. on the side of her nose. But, um, she met up with a very small dog in the dark, both on a leash. And uh, Tilly has always been the kind of dog that just goes straight up to other dogs, very kind of uh, oh. self-confident, very <laughs> bold. She has a kind of swagger when she approaches other dogs. And this little dog obviously felt a little bit uh, intimidated and um, took a chunk out of her face. Um, there was a, quite a yelp from Tilly. And I didn't see anything initially, didn't even see, see it until the next morning. And we put uh, antibiotic ointment on it and it's healing really, really well, thankfully. We cleaned the wound obviously and, and gave us some ointment. So. She's definitely looking like a street fighting dog at the yeah. moment. She's got yeah. street cred. We haven't disappeared. We won't be disappearing. And we'll be, as Carol said, storing up a lot in the video locker so that when we're busy working, we're um, actually still releasing um, videos of the things that we're doing on the boat. So today we're going to show you something that we came across on a friend's boat. And we walked past it so many times and we had no clue what it was. And I'd, I'd never noticed it. Carol, I, Carol I had, had seen it. But I, I didn't know what it, it was. It was just on the deck. Uh, it's something that will help us because we're, we're not spring chickens. I mean... I, I am. <laughs> I'm just, and, an, old, uh, I'm just and, an old spring chicken. And Tilly, so. Tilly definitely isn't. And she's very nervous about the plank, as you can imagine. Um, it doesn't feel very secure to any of us, really. No. So this little idea, I think, is going to make a huge difference. And we're going to share that with you today. And we'll see you in a little bit. So Gary's just explained what this is. This is, um, it's, like a, it's like a step system that takes an extension plank and you put it on, presumably it'll go on the front, would it, Gary, is, or, or the back? I'll just imagine it's going on the back. Uh, on the back. Because okay. Of the, yeah, because of the because shape. Of the shape of that. So, so this was made by the previous owner, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's done a good job though. And then, then yeah, you have this pin. I wonder where he's got that, if he's had that made. Mm. He's fabricated it himself. So it's just those two steps. And then that goes on to the plank, which is solid pine with holes in it, that that goes, that pin goes through it and holds it in position. I mm. love that. It's such a simple design. Nice and nice and strong. Oh, that's excellent, isn't it? Yep. You know, he's, he's thought about that, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. That would really work work for us when we're out on the cut. I think I'm going to steal that idea completely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the kind of thing I could actually make. I'm really ham-fisted at things, but I can make that kind of stuff. Brilliant. Thanks, Gary. So we hope you really enjoyed the video, and maybe you'll make one of those for your boat. It looked pretty straightforward it to, to make. It did. And it shouldn't cost more than a few pounds, really. We're going to add this to our useful things playlist. If you have 
um, ways of getting um, a dog, particularly a, an older dog or a dog that's a little bit unsteady on her feet or a, a blind dog like Tilly or a largely blind dog like Tilly. If you've got a really good method of um, accessing your boat, please um, share please details share of that in yeah, the comments. We'd, we'd love to see it. We would because, uh, w you know, we are all about making Tilly's life as easy as possible. And ours. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if her life is easy, our life is easy <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.